Roseland with Boarding Geek TV here at Spiel 2014. I'm sitting here with Maria Olga Ramondo and Eli Cherani. Tiro Yanino from Purple Games, and they are here to talk about their newest game, Twenty Passenger Frog. That is Twenty Seventh Passenger: A Hunt on Rails. Great. Okay. Well, so um, this is our second time uh, in Essen Spiel, and uh, we are going to present you Twenty Seventh Passenger, which is uh, a fun noir deduction game, uh, a great noir feeling, uh, because each player uh, is an assassin. So maybe you want to pick up. This one, uh, secretly. Oh, this <laughs> one, oh, okay. And uh, we leave the, the rest passengers here. Uh, so each one has a secret identity. Is an assassin, and he wants to take out the rest of the players um, during a, a during a train um, journey. We start from the busy Manhattan, and we go up to uh, the Staten Island. We are in New York, as you see, in the uh, 1920s, and our goal is to take out all, be the last man standing. Okay, and um, what else do you want to carry on with yes, the basic course. actions? Well, let's see first the passengers. Uh, if you see a passenger card, it has three traits on it, three features. The first one is the looks, the second the scent, and the third is the voice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the millionaire, you can check also the deduction screen. Has an eccentric voice, that means he's somewhere here. He has a foul smell, so he will be here, here, and here. And a soft voice, so I found him. So this is actually a table where everybody can find uh, the three features of each passenger. Uh, because the thing is that uh, every player is an assassin, but all the other passengers on the train are just innocent passengers. And you have to be careful not to kill some, uh, any one of them because you're out of the game. So in your turn, everybody has the same cards uh, with the actions. And uh, in your turn, you choose one of the cards you want to play. And uh, when everybody has done so, uh, the actions are resolved in turn order. So from one to four, from two to four. Let's see the actions. Number one, number one is investigation. With this action, you can actually target a player and ask him about a feature that you want to know about him. So you take the features deck, and if I wanted to learn about your voice, I would take the three voice cards, and I would secretly give them to you. You would check your identity, and you would return to me the one that matches with your identity. Oh, great. And so, she has a soft voice. And so, I would know down that you have a soft voice. I would write soft. When I have all your three traits, I know who you are. And then I can kill you. Oh. And then I can kill you. Okay, so, uh, however, in the game, there is actually another way to find out who is innocent and who is not. And this is using the third action, which is scheming. With skimming, you check out the passengers that are just getting off the train. So you take the innocent passengers, check them out yourself, see who they are, and erase them from your seat so that only you know who they are. You narrow down the... Yes, the suspects, yes. Of course, this is a secret. I mean, it's a, like that, it's folded so that no one can see what you have written in it. And after three rounds, uh, in each round, there are going to more passengers to be revealed as innocents. Yes, you follow the arrows. Uh, which well, everyone can see. Yes, yes. Right, I see. But it takes him uh, about you three take. rounds. So whenever more innocent passengers are getting off the yes. train. So actually round. by scheming, you're able to take the advantage of seeing who is innocent earlier than everybody. And so the fourth action is deception. And this is actually a defensive action. You can use it so that if someone tries to investigate you, you can show that you have deception and cancel his investigation to you. Ah. Yes, you have a, a way to defend yourself. And another way to defend yourself and not let the other learn what you smell like, for example, <laughs> is through disguise. Through disguise. And these ah. are three types of disguise cards for your voice, your scent, and your looks. So that's actually the basic game, but every, 
we'll talk about the yes. skill cards. Uh, these are the basic actions, but um, every player uh, also has two skill cards at the start of the game that he can use only once during the game. It's uh, one per game, it's different. So you get two and you choose yes. one of them at the beginning. No, 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 you start with two, but uh, no one else has it. It's unique. Yes, it's every card a is unique. Unique cards. Okay. It's a okay. skill that you only have. Yes. Even nobody else. Uh, for example, um, you see here that you can uh, play a, um, an action and combine it with another one. So here you can do a double assassination. Ah. Or you can uh, do a double investigation or uh, perform an investigation and then um, also look at the passengers, the innocent. It gives you an advantage. So you can play, it, you play them only once, you can perform them only once during the game. There is a discard symbol here. Ah, okay. okay. But they are unique. Also, uh, the game can become more complex. Uh, as in every round, there is an event card that it opens. And as we go through, a new event cuts. comes every turn. Exactly. So it changes like the flow of the game every turn. Uh, so actually, that's all the game. Do you want yes. to give the credits? No. Uh, when um, the game ends, when we reach this station, so if uh, one player is alive till then, he is the, you know, the yeah. best assassin all over the world. Exactly. But he's the winner, actually. Yes, he's <laughs> the winner of the game. But yeah. uh, if two or more are alive, then nobody wins. Nobody then nobody wins. wins. Oh, yes. I see. You have to be the last one standing. Uh, we would like to, um, to, th to give a big thank you to uh, the two game uh, designers. Uh, it's um, Manolis Zachariadis and Christos Yanakoula. Difficult Brick games. games. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also uh, to our artist, Manolis Fargidis who did uh, a special work uh, with all uh, the portraits here it's of uh, the Innocents. And that's the And I was the lawyer. And the gangster, yes. yeah. And uh, the rule book. Uh, she looks like an, an old newspaper, which yes, is beautiful. Exactly. And um, the graphic designer of the rule book is Elaine Khalat. Yes. Fantastic. Um, and how long will a game typically take to play? It takes about uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Yes. 45 minutes. And it's how many a, players? It's quick, it's fun, it's from three to six players. Three to six? Oh, yes. that's fun that it can be so many. But what happens if you are assassinated early on, are you completely eliminated from the game or can you continue to create havoc for the rest? Uh, uh, most of the times, uh, the whole assassination um, process, yeah, process happens goes in the, very the last, in the last rounds. Yeah. So there's a lot of... <laughs> You will Something just like wait for five, ten minutes until the next round, the next yes. uh, game. And also, uh, this uh, board is double. It's oh. from five to six and three to four players. Yes, exactly. So, well, thank you so much. That's an exciting game. That is 27th Passenger, A Hunt on Rails from Purple Games.